Hey guys, in this session we're going to be looking at area of a triangle with two sides and an included angle. All right, I'll give you a bit more information about that in the next slide. So I guess the first thing I want to do is, before I throw the formula at you guys, is actually to try and prove of how this actually works. So what, am I, what do I mean by two sides and an included angle? So this is what I'm talking about. I've got this triangle here and I've got two sides. And the angle is actually in, it's in between those two sides. And I guess that's what that included angle means. So how do we go about finding the area of, the, of this triangle? Now we know area of a triangle is half times base times height. So what we really need to do for this triangle is figure out what that height is. All right, once we have the height, we could potentially use it and to work out the area of this triangle. So I'm going to be looking at just that right-hand side triangle. All right, because that's A, that's C. Now it's a perpendicular line. Because it's a perpendicular line, it's going to create a little right angle triangle. So using, I want to figure out what this thing here is, which is the opposite, opposite to the angle. So I know I'm using the sine rule. So I can write this as sine c equals opposite over a j uh, over hypotenuse which is hypotenuse in this case is a so i can rewrite this as the opposite side is equal to adjacent times sine c all right so in other words our height of this triangle can be written as a times sine c which means now we can actually have the area of a triangle because the area of the triangle is half times base times height. We already have what base is. That's B. See that? That's the base of the triangle. So we're going to have half times B times H, which is happens to be the red line here, which is A sine C. So what you'll notice is the equation written like this, half a b sine c. So the two sides are a and b, and the angle that you're working with is uh, c. And that's how you find area for a triangle with two sides and an included angle. All right, let's have a look at a couple of examples and see if things start to make sense. So in this case, we've asked to be we've been asked to find the area. So we know the area formula is half a b sine c. So we can actually say area for this triangle is half. Now a and b doesn't matter which way you choose, guys. All right, doesn't really matter because eventually it's going to work out either way. So I'm going to put that as a. I'm going to put that as b, and I've got this as angle c. So half times 4.11 times B, which happens to be 8, times sine of 53.91 degrees. So in this case, the area is equal to 13.29 units squared. Okay, let's have a look at another example. So in this case, you know, you're looking at it and it's like, well, does it really make sense? We're not really looking at, um, we're not really looking at that base in this case because we could, what we could do is we could rotate the triangle, but we're just going to look at it as the sides, all right? So this is my side A, this is my side B, and this is my angle C. So in terms of area, it's still going to be half A, B, sine C. All right, so we're going to have half times 6.11 times 6.37 times sine of 82.26. All right, which means my area is equal to 19.28 units squared. Cool. So basically, guys, that's how you find area given two sides and an included angle for a triangle. OK. Um, yeah. So if you have any questions, pop it in the comments below. And thank you for watching this.